Hey, how are you? Good morning. This is Travis Sago and Ben Quitzel. All right. Welcome to part one of our tips and traps for the Marriage Sherpa Affiliate Program. You're welcome. <laughs> We're going to make you guys a lot of money if you will follow our tips and instructions and especially stay away from the traps that we're telling you about. First tip. What's the first tip, Ben? What am I holding my hand? We've got here? this demographic Im information for you. This has got everything you'll need ab about your uh, <laughs> about your target audience here. Um, it's already been done for you. I mean, the, the three things you want to do when making money online: find a hungry crowd, find out what they want, and get in front of them. And two of these steps have already been done for you. Damn good point. The first two steps have already been done for you. Get out there, and I would promote how to survive an affair. Yes, absolutely. Starving crowd, telling you exactly what they want, and right here in these 15 pages is more information on exactly what they want and who they are. Thousands of dollars worth of research. Right. I think Jeff says here 10,000 uh, sales over seven years of research, and these are all surveys, uh, hundreds of surveys? How many surveys? Hundreds of surveys to their buyers, and this is just chock full of all everything they want and who they are. He's just so, giving it to you. Exactly. <laughs> Big trap, and, and I didn't think to cover this at the beginning of the affiliate program, so it's my, it's my fault, my mistake. Uh, a lot of our affiliates are coming from either other relation type, relation, relationship, relationship type sites, whether it be magic I'm making up or other stuff. The demographics for getting people back together after they've already separated are huge. Completely different. Completely different. Let me go over this a little bit with you. Some of the key, the key points. Uh, please print this out. Go through it. I mean, I can't tell you, you your articles will change, your, your blogs will change, and you'll start making sales on how to survive the, the affair. I mean, Absolutely. it's almost impossible not to right. if, you, if you have this information. Uh, first off, the big demographic, 76.8% female, okay? That's not too much different from, like, other relationship-type uh, products. Who committed the affair? This is interesting. 908 said their spouse cheated. So they're, they're not the ones that did the cheating. Right. Okay? Which is completely different from the magic make. Well, I mean, not that yeah, the magic make was cheating, but... Right. But usually they're the ones that did something wrong and are trying to right. put things back together. Uh, another important demographic difference, uh, and I know they can't see this, so I won't even try, but it's, it's in here on page number two. 72.5% uh, in the age group is over age 35. Another complete it, flip yes, from the say, magic say, making up. Yes, yeah, so, because under 35 for the magic making Yeah, about 70% is under the age of 35 for most of your Get Your Ex Back programs for the magic of making up, so on and so forth. Another huge important one, 84.8% are still married. Only 11% are even separated. So they're still living in the same house together. These aren't even really considered exes yet. Right. That's interesting. Yeah, and this is how to survive an affair, right? It's not how, how to get and back to get together with my ex affair. after an affair. Right. It's how to survive the affair. So huge demographic difference. And here's the mistake people were making. They were taking their existing blogs and their relationship blogs and just throwing a banner for how to survive an affair onto those blogs. Now, the reason that you don't want to do that is, number one, you're, you're not going to make very many sales. Right. Number two, you're actually already you're hurting the sales you're already making from the folks that are going to your blogs already. So right. you're actually taking sales away from yourself. Uh, so I wanted to cover this trap with you real quickly. And because we didn't bring it out in the first one. That's true. Uh, but to continue on with our tips, please go through this carefully because I can't tell you how wonderful the information is here. Uh, it's way more than you're going to get from like Quantcast or anything. Yes. I mean, this is like all your forum research and everything just right here. I mean, this is helpful. Survey to question 15. Over 49.5% have already went to counseling together. So they, they've already been to counseling. So is that going to change how you do your articles? And knowing that these people yeah. have already went to counseling, you can right. say, hey, don't know if you've been to counseling or not. Maybe it's worked for you. Maybe it hasn't. Right. Uh, but then we start getting into the stuff that's really going on 
in their heads. The single biggest problem you are facing when you purchase the program, lack of attention to the special needs, spouse's affair, and it goes down for 15 other categories. Ding, ding, ding. Hot uh, lights. If you're the injured, how long ago did you find out about the fair? Most of them, uh, let's see, 22.1% within the last 30 days, 10.5% within the last six months, 24.2% within the last three months. So you can see that most of the affairs are pretty, pretty fresh in their mind. Now, here's some stuff. You can even start writing articles on, on page, oh, my page numbers aren't working. When it says single biggest question about healing after the affair, A, number one, why won't my spouse share the details? B, and I know this to be true from my own coaching with people, is how do I deal with the images in my mind? So they have these images locked in their mind right. that's really preventing them from fixing their relationship because they can't get the images out of their head. So can you imagine writing articles, a blog posts, article to these people. Right, I mean. and starting on how to get these images out of their mind? But it doesn't stop there. It gives you... So letter V, whatever letter that is in the alphabet, like 22, <laughs> 22 23, yeah. I don't know. But 23 other big things that, that, that's on their mind. And page after page of demographic where you can write articles on this, so on and mm -hmm. so forth. I'm talking really fast. One, I'm trying to keep the video under 10 minutes. Two, I've had like three cups of coffee this morning. <laughs> and it's a little chilly out here. It's a little chilly out here. Chilly out here. Our, our lighting wasn't right today inside the house. So uh, a couple other big tips. Go to the blog. Jeff Radish has said you can use any of the articles on the blog that right. you want to stick on the on your blogs. I would highly recommend doing what with those articles? Sitting them to a blog. Um, but would you use them as is or? Oh, oh, those no, 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 no. Definitely change them up. Put your own little twist on them. I would go straight after these these hot buttons, these these points yes. laid out, and I would have an article on every single one of those. I mean, that is the. The research done for you. All your titles right there. I mean, just that's how I would start it off doing me. But. Cool. Um, now, what you can do is take little nuggets out of those articles that he gives you sure. and completely redo the article. You can take those articles and put them straight on your blog, but obviously you're going to yeah. do more if you... If you Rewrite them. Right, and make exactly. Make a little spin on them. Now, here's a... Here's a I'm going to say the million dollar? Zillion, it's got to be a zillion dollar <laughs> tip, okay? A billion dollar tip, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> so somewhere between zero and a billion dollar tip this is but and he gives it to you right here right here and, and it didn't, didn't ever really occur to me but he says you can take those articles in our blog and if you have Camtasia or some oh, form, yeah, just yeah. read the article into the video and then you can post it up on YouTube especially if you get it underneath 10 minutes and Definitely. those you probably just read straight out loud you can put it on YouTube put it on your blog Definitely. and have some great uh, video content right there as well but just to recap please 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 don't take your realist, your existing relationship blogs and sites and just try to throw a banner right. on how to survive an affair right it's going to end up hurting your site more than, it, than it's, it's ever going to hurt you're not going to make a sale the people that are already making sales are going out they're taking uh, you know an hour or two hours to punch a few buttons and get a blog put up yeah. and then put Make it specific for how to survive the affair. Guys, it's a $78 commission, and it's a starving crowd. We're doing good for folks around the world. It's a worldwide problem. Right. Uh, and, you know, when you go, to, when you spend that money in marriage counseling, 50% of them, you, you want to get over this problem. You right. want to get those images out of your head. Dr. Gunsberg has been very successful in doing that. They sold 10,000 copies of the program. So not only... Can you make a nice income, but we can go out there and help some folks. And Absolutely. that's what I'm really excited about. Absolutely. And for the last tip, because we have, you know, I can't leave any seconds on the clock. <laughs> last tip, if you need help. I'm here for you guys. Ask, ask Ben. Ask Jeff. Once Jeff, you, too. Jeff's great. Yeah. Once you log into your uh, Marriage Sherpa affiliate program, you'll see his shining face right there. <laughs> if you have any questions or any help, just ask for help. We'll Absolutely. catch you next time on our next tips and traps. If you have any questions or would like to cover us a tip, send them in, yeah. baby. Send them in. Thanks, guys. Thank Appreciate you. you.